Hi, happy Friday. Lolo Carter here. Wanted to talk to you uh, today about what we have coming for June um, at the Hum Sisters Nation. Not too much. I want to just talk to you about some of the issues that we're going to be discussing and what we are going to be, well, what we have structured our business model uh, to support moving forward. It's taken us some time to put together um, a really strong way of not only being able to open conversations and awareness around cannabis and hemp, um, but how do we take that that process and, and find a way to pay it forward for it, it maybe an unrelated issue. Um, and that, that issue for Gina and I, you know, for the last few years has really um, been about childhood hunger, hunger in general, when you start to really look at the scope, you know, of the statistics surrounding this. So just wanted to spend some time just briefly to kind of give you some facts, you know, about world hunger and why uh, we're going to continue to pledge uh, portions of our revenue and, and show you what that can actually do for another human being. Um, you know, not putting an extra car in our driveway, what, what we can do um, to better the lives of other people, people will never meet, you know. But um, <clears throat> we experience in America here, we, you know, we're hitting the grocery store and we're feeling the and we're seeing the increases in you know cost of food um, and our budgets are changing accordingly you know um, so it, it's a, a source of frustration and that can lead to fear as well if it continues to go like that for us however around the world rising food prices are, are literally devastating to people in the communities they live in in places like the sub-saharan africa people, uh, their staple foods being grains, they account for nearly half of their calories consumed in these rising food prices are crippling, crippling their families. The price of corn increased by 80% in just two years, wheat 70%, um, and rice, even rice 25%. These are basic nutritional needs for, for most communities around the world. They're impossibly expensive, and especially for people that are captive to poverty already, um, most of these people will live on less than $2 a day, income-wise. Pandemic included this year, 115 million new humans uh, have joined the ranks of hunger around the world. Hunger is the world's number one health risk. Nine million people each year will die from hunger and hunger related diseases. That's more than AIDS, malaria, and tuberculosis combined. And I would believe there's still room to actually add in the number of COVID deaths this year. Poor nutrition, and hunger are responsible for the death of 5 million children under the age of five every year. 15,000 children a day die from hunger and hunger related undernourished reasons. Right now, as I talk to you, there's 925 million people that are hungry. That's one in seven people will go to bed hungry tonight. 65% of those 925 million people live in India, China, the Congo, Bangladesh, Indonesia, Pakistan, and Ethiopia. Women, we make up more than half of the world's population, but account for 65% of the world's hungry and iron deficiency. It is the most prevalent form 
of malnutrition worldwide. It affects 2 billion people every year. If the goal is to eradicate malnutrition through iron deficiency supplementation, we can literally improve national productivity levels by 20%. Hunger is the world's number one health risk. Don't let anybody else tell you differently. Gene and I are gonna be showing you some ways to address this in non-related actions through the things that you're doing every day and hopefully things that you'll be doing with us. Um, so we are, even though we're a few days out, we're really wanting June to start so that we can really start to explore this conversation with you, um, you know, and really hope to hit a lot of hearts and minds on this issue, you know, uh, not having nourishment, not having access to food. Um, one, people will die. Two, if they live, they don't have what it takes in their body to help fight disease. A vaccine in an unhealthy body is useless in other ways as well. That's for another day. Have a good weekend. Um, and I'm really looking forward to continuing this conversation. All right, one love.